Today, we want to share with you a best removal practice and help answer the burning question, how can I remove markings in a method that satisfies the engineer? One cost-effective solution is to use a rotary eraser. Removing striping without leaving pavement scars can be achieved, providing the right rotating machine, cutting tool, and removal process is applied, and the surface is sound. Basically, without clear specifications, you need to use a process that allows you to remove the stripe and not the road. Now, what machines will actually do this? Here are nine of the most common removal styles, each offering distinctive benefits and disadvantages. Shot blasting, sand blasting, and scraping operations are not very cost effective, so let's eliminate them. The other common methods are grouped in either drum or rotary removal rotations. Drum style machines consist of scarifiers, rotomilling, and diamond shavers that rotate horizontally on the surface, leaving a vertical cut groove profile. Scarification drum style machines are the most popular. Outfitted with various flat and pointed toothed cutters, they rotate at high speeds and flail to fracture or pulverize the surface and produce vibration. The selection of the appropriate cutters and their inline or offset spacing patterns and the rate of lineal travel determines the removal finish and cut depth range. The vertical rotating cutter drums can leave deep scars and cause ghost lines, especially on uneven soft surfaces. The rotation is the key to assuring smooth or rough surface finish edges, and a rotary method by water or dry erasing leaves a bevel edge finish that satisfies most engineers' requirements. Ultra-high pressure water blasting is a rotary process where water is discharged through a nozzle at a high velocity used to remove stripes, often best when removing thin coatings on harder substrates. On thicker thermoplastic or thermoset durable markings, water will result in not just the removal of the high build marking, but the gradual erosion of the surface fines, binder, sealers, and pastes. And under prolonged exposure to water jetting, the coarse aggregate base will be undercut or undermined and washed away. Rotary erasers, on the other hand, is a term to describe a planetary rotation apparatus. An eraser leaves a bevel edge surface profile without sharp edge grooves with a rotation similar to ultra high pressure water blast operations. The dry erasing method does not undermine or wash out the surface. Rotary rotation machines can leave anywhere from an SP2 to SP5 surface finish on asphalt and concrete. Rotary erasers such as the Smith X series can be used for walk behind, ride on and truck mounted applications. The Smith X3 rotary eraser can be outfitted in a variety of power choices and mounted on trucks or skid loaders. Adding a vacuum to the X-Series ports offers dust-free removal. In conclusion, rotary erasing meets most removal specifications and when correctly tooled and operated, satisfies the engineer's requirements. Erasing with a vacuum leaves a smooth, bevel-edged, dust-free surface finish. Since the process works without water, new markings can be installed immediately following the removal operation. Erasers like the Smith X3 can fit most work trucks or skid loaders and work the way striping contractors do, with results that please the most finicky engineers. Erasing is a faster, easier, and more cost-effective method that everyone can afford, and consumable costs are negligible. The equipment can grow as your needs require by simply adding more components. Simply put, erasing is the solution to both the contractor and the engineer. For more information, please contact Smith Manufacturing at 1-800-653-9311 or visit removefaster.com.
The surface of the road came out perfect due to the conditions of the asphalt. It's perfect. I mean, that's what you want, a smooth finish. That's very satisfying.